grade 7 math number 2.2a dividing integers. All right, do you remember this from when we were multiplying integers? It hasn't changed. And you know why? Because just as with multiplying negative or positive integers, like signs make a positive quotient and unlike signs make a negative quotient. They're the same rules as multiplying. Isn't that helpful? We don't have new rules to remember. We just do the same rules with multiplication as we do with division. So if we have negative 12 divided by a positive 4, they have unlike signs, so it's a negative 3. We had 12 red chips, and we divided it into 4 sets. Well, there's negative 3 in each set, isn't there? It's a negative 3. Well, fractions are little division problems. Negative 12 divided by 4 is the same thing as negative 12 divided by 4. See? Negative 12 fourths is the same thing as negative 12 divided by 4. And it's going to be a negative 3. And if we had negative 2 fourths, that means a negative 2 is cut into 4 pieces. See? 1, 2, 3, 4. It would be negative half, wouldn't it? It would cut them each in half. All right, so take a look at this. Tala owes the veterinarian $600 because her dog needed surgery. She couldn't afford to pay the bill, so her family each decided to give her $75. I didn't need to put each again, did I? So her family each gave her $75, each member of her family. So how many family members does she owe money to? All right, well, we think. The debt is money owed, so she's negative $600 to the vet. And now... She's negative $75 to her family members. So we're going to think of it this way. Each family member gave her $75, so we divide the negative 600 by negative 75. That's going to tell us how many family members, right? Okay, so we have negative 600 over negative 75. Remember, fractions are little division problems, right? So now we need to figure this out. We find the absolute values of both integers, Negative 600's absolute value is 600. Negative 75's absolute value is 75. We divide. I found it easier to do a little multiplication on the side, and I found that 75 times 8 is 600, so I know it's 8 family members. But is it positive or negative? Well, remember, we had two negatives in the equation. So that means they're like signs, so the answer is positive. She owes 8 family members money. See? She's, she owes them each 75. All right, so now let's take a look at this. We're going to get into some really grown-up stuff here. We've got a 0 divided by a negative 6. Well, that's going to equal 0, right? Because if you have 0 and you split it into 6 parts, it's still going to be 0. And if we have 34 and we divide it by a negative 2, they have unlike signs. And 17, if we take 34 and we divide it by 2... It goes into the 3 one time, and 2 times 1 is 2. We do our subtraction. 3 take away 2 is 1. It's the 4's turn to drop down, and now 2 goes into 14 seven times. So we know that it's a 17, and because the signs are unlike, it's a negative, isn't it? Negative 17. What about negative 9 divided by negative 1? We take their absolute values, 9 divided by 1. Well, 9 divided by 1 is 9. And we look at the like signs and say, yep, it's a positive 9. And then for this one, negative 63 divided by negative 21. Well, 21 times 3 equals 63. And because they're both negative signs, they're like, we're going to make it a positive 63. Because a negative 21 can fit into that negative 63 three times. See? What about 250 divided by a negative 50? Well, there's... Two fifties in each hundred, right? And we have two hundred. So there's, that's one hundred, that's two hundred, and then another fifty is two fifty. That makes five of them, doesn't it? So, because this is a positive and that's a negative, they're unlike, it's going to be a negative five. All right? So here's our grown-up stuff. We've got a negative three divided by zero. And our answer is that it's undefined. What? Why isn't it 3 or 0 or something? No, the answer is undefined. You can write can't do it if you wanted to. So if you get a number like 3 divided by 0 or 10 divided by 0 or anything divided by 0 where the 0 is in this spot, okay, it's the divisor. 
right undefined. And if your teacher marks it wrong, you'll be able to argue that all the way up to the school, the school board and the principal, because this is right, it's undefined. Now why? Well, when a denominator is zero, like this one, negative three is gonna be over zero, because that's what this means. Like in this equation, we can't answer the problem. Division is the inverse of multiplication, and zero doesn't have an inverse, so we can't do this one. And we cover this more as you get older and talk about rational numbers. So for right now, just know that you can't divide, divide something by zero, okay? So this is what you need to take away and remember, that when we multiply or divide integers, we find their absolute values, then we multiply or divide, right? that absolute value. We determine the sign of the product or the quotient by looking at the equation to see if they're unlike or like, and then we write the product or the quotient with the correct sign, okay? And if you're still having trouble and you wanna do a little more video watching and you like my videos, you can go to uh, see some multiplying and dividing of negative and positive integers in the end of the grade six math playlist. Because at the end of the sixth grade year, we kind of covered this, and I explained it very basically. And now you're in the beginning of seventh grade, it might not hurt to go back and review the end of sixth grade stuff. And it might be easier to understand, and maybe I said something differently in those videos that I didn't say in these. So for the multiplying negative and positive integers, you want to see 9.6 and 9.6b. And for the division one, you want to see number 9.8, and that's in the grade six math for Joanne School. All right, it's in the playlist. So I hope that helps you. We're going to continue on, and we're going to go on to our uh, word problems for dividing integers, and I hope to see you there. Bye.